Welcome to Home Microgreens and my view from the woods. Today we're going to talk about lettuce microgreens. I have so many videos on how to grow lettuce indoors, I figured I'd expand on that and show you how to grow microgreens indoors. But I didn't know what seeding density to start with. So what does one do? They go to the internet. I picked a top listing and looked for their recommendations. And I got a ridiculous number. That person told me, and I'm going to include it in the blog post, so I'm not going to put his name on the video, because really that's his opinion. He can have whatever opinion he wants to on the seeding density. But I'm going to show you the seeding densities, and you can choose from there. Anyways, his number was he puts an ounce of lettuce seed on a 1020 tray. That's a lot of seed. I only put 0.8 to 1 gram on a 1020 tray for baby leaf. But what I'm going to do is plant all different times with densities. I'm going to plant 10 grams, 7 grams, 4 grams, and 2 grams, and 1 gram of lettuce seed on a 1010 tray. And we'll see what the microgreens look like. I also did one tray at his density, and I put 14 grams of seed in a 1010. That's about the same as putting an, an ounce on a 1020 tray. So I'm going to show you the whole process from seeding to germination to growing to harvesting to how much harvested microgreens I got from each tray. And then I'm going to do a cost analysis on the yield of lettuce microgreens that I got compared to how much it cost me to grow them. Let's get started. I'm going to start right off with the seeding. I'm going to show you how I seeded these microgreens and we're going to go from there. So on this first tray, we're going to plant 10 grams of microgreen seed on a 1010. So I just put it in the 10 gram, weight out to 10 grams. There you can see how much is in the little container. And I'm just going to sprinkle them on. And boy, does it take a while to sprinkle these on evenly. And a matter of fact, when you get to the end, it's almost like a full carpet of lettuce seeds. Not quite as bad as the um, 14 grams that I did earlier. But still, there's a lot of seeds, a lot of seeds on this 10 by 10 tray. So the process is pretty simple. I just spread the seeds evenly as I can around. When I finished going all the way around the tray and in the middle, I find the spots where I missed, and then I just fill in the holes. You can see the seeds almost like piling up on here. So that's the 10. Now I'm gonna go through these other ones. I'm gonna show you a close up of the seeds. I'm gonna go through these other ones much faster. I just wanna show you how much seed is actually going on these trays so that you get some idea. So the next one is seven grams of seed. I just picked these arbitrarily. I did the 14, um, I did a 10, I did a 7, and then I'm going to do a 4 and a 2, and eventually I redid this experiment because I didn't have room at the time. I did a 1 gram per, a one gram per 10, 10 tray. So you're going to get a good cross section. I let them all grow, and then I harvested them, and we weighed how much the yield is. But you're going to see this whole process. Again, this is abbreviated, but I just want to show you so you get some idea on how much seed is on these trays. So now we're down to four grams of seed. This is a little bit more reasonable. And you can see this is great videography here of my arm. Yep, it's just, it's, it's just wonderful. But you know, when you do this four or five times in a row, you just kind of want to get it done. So yeah, it is what it is. But the main thing are these close-ups. I wanted to show you the whole process because some people complain that like, well, you didn't do this or you didn't do that. So I wanted to make sure that you saw exactly how I was doing this whole thing. So that's the four grams. And now we're going to get down to the two grams. I, like I said, I didn't have time to do one gram here, but I did it later. And it, obviously it's not the same. The temperatures were about the same. So I did this in November. So the, the temperatures inside the house were pretty pretty regularly around uh, the high 60s. So I think it was a pretty fair shake as far as growing conditions. And I let them grow is the same amount of days. This variety, by the way, is Bronze Minuet. Um, it's a lettuce I really like. I like this lettuce a lot too, grown in the garden. It's um, a really crunchy uh, lettuce and I, I really like it. So now we're gonna put these seeds into the blackout or should we say the light out because lettuce seeds do seem to germinate better underneath lights. So here I'm just showing you that i am seeded these trays. I'm just going to use a spray bottle and mist them down. Um, I did pre-wet the trays before I put the seed on them. And now I'm just making sure I'm spraying the mist or misting these seeds down so they make good um, seed to soil contact. And then I'm going to push them underneath the lights. These are uh, 6,500 6, Kelvin 
Barina lights. They're, it's a four foot shelf. And conveniently, these 1010 trays, if I put two of them together, I can actually put a 1020 dome over the top of them. That's how I germinate lettuce. I just sprinkle it on the top, mist them down so there's good seed to soil contact. And I put a clear dome under them so that some light goes through, but the dome holds in the humidity. I'm going to show you a front view here. And it takes a little manipulation to get them on, but there's a trays, 10 on the left, 2 on the right. And they took two days to germinate, and then I'm going to show you a video here four days later as they're starting to sprout, where you can actually see them. Here's the lettuce. You can see that it's a lot of condensation on the covers. Let's take a look at them. that's what the lettuces look like. I know it's hard to see, but what I'm going to do is take these trays and put them underneath the Mars Hydro light and we'll get a better view at them. Here are the six trays we're going to talk about. This tray and this tray are the same variety. That is planted as baby leaf at 0 0.8 grams per 1020 tray. This is planted a ridiculous 14 grams per 10 by 10 tray. These are the bronze lettuces. This is at 10 grams, 7 grams, 4 grams, and 2 grams in 10 by 10 trays. Now you can see there's quite a bit of difference between these two. These have had room to grow, spread out. You can see the leaves are bigger but shorter. These have really started to grow their true leaves, but they're just competing with each other. They've grown tall and really tight. And inside, they still look pretty good. There's really, eh, there's a little bit of yellowing inside, but that's pretty dense. Now, this is the recommended seeding density that I found online, which is just ridiculous. Even this 10 and 7, I think, are going to be too dense. Maybe this 4 and 2 will be good, but we'll see. That's what the whole example is about. So it's been, um, I forget how many days. I'll put that right here in the, in, as a caption. But these are going under the light for the first time. We've had them underneath the light under the dome which sort of get blocks some of the light, but now they're under a direct light. This is a Mars Hydro 2000 uh, light. It has quite a bit of heat, not down here, but up here it's a little bit warm, so we have to watch the distance. This is about 18 inches, and it's time to water them. So I'm gonna grab some water and I'll show you how we're gonna water these trays. Watering's pretty simple. I'm just gonna show you on one tray. I take about Generally a cup of water, maybe a little bit more than a cup of water for 10 by 10 tray, two cups for a 10 by 20 tray. The first time you water them like this, because remember, we've just wetted the surface. We didn't wet the soil all the way down through. So since I have that extra moisture there, the seeds didn't need it at the time. Now the plants do. I generally put in about a cup and a half the first time. So this is the planting tray. Pull these apart here. Sometimes they're on there pretty tight. So this is the planting tray, this is the watering tray, and it's just a matter of putting the water in the planting tray, and the watering tray, putting this on, that water will be soaked up through there. So when lettuce gets as dense as, not necessarily these, but as dense as these trays are, you really have to be careful um, and make sure that they get enough water. And we're gonna water these other three right after I get off the film. But I wanna show you this. This is a 1010 tray. This is a microgreens. And this doesn't really need water, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So this is a 1020 tray. This is a 1010 tray. Makes watering a little bit easy. You just take the water and you dump in, in. And then generally what I do is just lift the tray a little bit. Let the water get through. Set it down, make sure the water runs to the other side, and that's it. If there's extra water left after a couple hours, then I just gently dump it out. All right, let's take a look and see how well this lettuce is doing. So first off, let's start with these. Again, these are the bronze lettuce. This is 10 grams per 10. These are all 10 by 10 trays, and I planted 10 grams, 7 grams, 4 grams, and 2 grams. And you can see the 
trays that have more seed in them are growing taller, right? The competition's forcing them up, looking for light. The ones with less seed have bigger leaves. I prefer to grow lettuce microgreens, or not really microgreens, but baby leaf like this. This is 0 0.8 grams per 1020 tray. Don't worry about this. This is just a poor seeding area where I just didn't get seed. And this is the same variety over here, planted at a ridiculous recommended density of 14 grams per 10 by 10. So they wanted to plant basically an ounce per 10 by 20, which is 28.35 grams. So I just split that in half. And you can see what's interesting. Remember if I showed you before this area that had a little bit of dieback on it? Well, the lettuce that's grown into it has bigger leaves. You can also see that the leaves are, are sloped like this and to a lesser extent over on the larger leaves the same way. That's because there's less light out here than under here. So that's, you can see the effect of lights. The stronger the light, the denser the growth will be. The weaker the light, the taller the growth will be. But this is, uh, I believe it's Grand Rapids lettuce, and it is getting a little bad on the inside. But this is as far as I want to take it. But even if it is bad, that's okay. This will show you how many days um, not to grow it to, in other words, cut it shorter, and we'll still get a good mass out of this. So uh, when I, I'm going to move this into the kitchen area, and I'm going to harvest it, and we're going to weigh it and see how much we get out of it. But I'll do a close-up of these so you can take a look. So I'll, when I do the close-up, you're going to see this one first, then this one, then this one, then that one. That is the 10 gram per 10, 10 tray. This is the 7 gram per 10 by 10 tray. This is the 4 gram per 10 by 10 tray. And this is the 2 gram or 10 by 10 tray. You can see right here, these are starting to get bronze, starting to get a little bit of color to them. I think what you're going to find out, there's going to be more color on the less, less dense greens than the dense ones. But that's what we're experimenting. Okay, so now we're going to go and we're going to harvest this and see what we get out of it. It is day 20 and we're going to harvest these microgreen lettuces. You'd probably want to harvest them before day 20, but I want them to grow. Uh, just to see what they would do. So again, these are 10 by 10 trays. This is uh, 10 grams, 7 grams, 4 grams, and 2 grams. And we're going to cut them, weigh them, and then compare them by weight by price to see what the difference is. You can definitely see the leaf size. The smaller or the less seed you add, the bigger the leaves get, which makes sense. These are a little bit dome taller because they're competing and forcing themselves up. These are more spread out with much more leaves, a lot more color. Especially if you just turn them, you can see there's a lot of color in these. So let's get harvesting. We're gonna take them into the kitchen and we're gonna harvest these. We'll start with the 10, the seven, the four, and the two, and we'll weigh them and see what we get. Okay, here is the lettuce with 10 grams of seed. And we're going to tear the scale and we'll see what we get. We're going to harvest these low. You can see they're pretty good inside. There's really no yellowing. Yeah, there's a little bit in here. You can see a little bit, right? It was a little bit too damp, too wet, too tight. Maybe at a younger age. So again, these have been 20 days. Yeah, there's a, they're a little bit too dense or been in there too long. I've been really tight on watering. In other words, I've been letting them go almost dry before I watered them so there would be a lot of extra moisture. So I don't know if you can read the scale, but it is 9.7 ounces. So 10 grams of seed in the 10 by 10 
produced 9.7 grams of seed. Here are some sample leaves from the test. So these leaves come from the uh, seeding density of 10 grams, 7 grams, 4 grams, and 2 grams. It was kind of hard to get them set up so that they looked even. But I think it's pretty obvious. You can tell that they're smaller to larger based on density. So the more seed, the smaller the leaves are. The color is a little bit better in the thinly dense, thinly seeded trays. But the seven gram does have some good color. The 10 was only around the edges of the tray that it was good. Most of it was sort of green like this. And from my memory, I believe there was some slime in the uh, 10 and seven. There was a fair amount of slime. That means by I mean, slime, I mean, Leaves that it disintegrated and gone really soft. There was a little bit in the four, not much in the two. I'm going to show you a chart that shows how much yield you get per gram of seed from these different seeding densities, and then how much it's going to cost uh, based on a set price for that seed. So this will tell you where you're getting your value from. What seeding density do you get the most value? And by looking at the videos, you can tell by yourself, I'm not going to choose for you, which leaf size you like and how clean you like them. As I said, we reran the test using one gram of lettuce on a 1010 tray. And here are the results. Let's take a look at the blue line first. This is how much lettuce we got off each tray. So for one gram of seed, we got 3.3 ounces of lettuce. For two grams of seed, we got 5.5 grams of lettuce. Four grams of seed, 7.1 ounces. Seven grams of seed, we got 9.3 ounces. 10 grams of seed, 9.7 ounces. And for 14 grams of seed, we only got 10.4 ounces of lettuce. So as you can see from the blue line, there was a steady increase in yield per gram of Per gram of lettuce seed up until about seven grams then it started to level off. Next let's take a look at the yellow line. This is how much it cost considering only seed for each ounce of lettuce yield we got. And we're going to be basing this on the lettuce seed cost of $9.98 per ounce which is pretty reasonable. So again we're looking at the yellow line. This is how much each ounce of lettuce that we harvested cost just considering the seed. So if we use one gram of seed each ounce of lettuce cost 11 cents. Two grams cost us 13 cents. Four grams 20 cents. Seven grams 26 cents. 10 grams 36 cents. And 14 grams cost us 47 cents an ounce. So if you look at just that you're gonna say well geez the less lettuce seed I put on a tray the, the cheaper the lettuce I receive is. But we have to consider soil in this as well, because remember, soil is going to cost us money. And that is the red line. So for this example, we're going to say that the soil costs us $3 to fill a tray. So now let's look at the cost. The one gram of seed, now the lettuce costs 97 cents per ounce. Two grams, 62 cents. 4 grams, 53 cents, 7 grams, 46 cents, 10 grams, 50 cents, and 14 grams, 54 cents. So you can see that there is a point of return here, where as you add more seed, the price per ounce of lettuce that you harvested goes down until you reach a certain point, and then it goes back up. And that sweet spot seems to be around 7 grams per 10-10 tray, or that would be 14 grams or half an ounce per 10-20 tray. So we also have to consider how the lettuce microgreens looked. And truthfully, the 7 grams did have some spots of rot into it. So it might be a little dense. Now, however, I did let them go 20 days. Maybe the rot wouldn't have been so bad if I only let it grow 15 days. That's something you'll have to experiment with. But still, from this experiment, it seems like you get somewhere around 6 to 7 grams per 10-10 tray or around a half an ounce per 1020 tray, maybe a little bit less. That is the sweet spot as far as cost per yield of lettuce for lettuce microgreens. 
There are more indoor lettuce videos linked down below. And don't forget for more gardening information, visit myviewfromthewoods.com. And if you want more information on microgreens, go to homemicrogreens.com. And we also sell high quality, reasonably priced, non-GMO seeds for both microgreens and for the garden. So please visit those websites. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you.